What's up, people? It's me. I'm here and uh, new digs. So get used to this background because it's going to be this way for quite a while, I think. So that's pretty cool, but uh, I'm not really here to talk about that. Although you can check out that cool uh, metal piece of you know metal artwork in the back there. Uh, move, move my head. You can see the other one. If you can make that out, that's uh, the Joker, of course. So anyway, uh, we got two big games this weekend and I'm gonna start with the one that's getting played tomorrow the Huskies are taking on the Arizona Wildcats and this is a big game for multiple reasons um, first of all it's the first Pac-12 game it may be the best team we played so far this year we'll find out more about Boise State as the season goes along but it's very possible that Arizona is the best team we played so far and there are quite a few games this weekend between other teams that could have a positive impact on where the Huskies go for the remainder of the week. But obviously, we have to take care of our business first. So Arizona, I said in the preseason, I expected to lose this game, even though it is in Washington. We're playing it at home, and that should be a huge advantage for us. And when I said that, I was thinking about what they did to us last year when they took our very good defense last year. We had a very good defense last year, and they did whatever they wanted to against it and put up 52 points and blew us out. Not the case this year. Things have changed in Arizona. Um, they are not a dominant offensive attack. Last year, they passed for f almost 4,000 yards and ran for, I think, almost 3,000 over the course of their season. Um, you know, just a stellar offensive out, just stellar offensive output across the board. Not the case this year for the Wildcats. Um, they've become a almost purely running team so far, and I should preface that by saying that they haven't played anybody very notable yet. But you could argue neither of the Huskies, so it's possible there are facets to their offense they haven't revealed yet. But in all likelihood, this is a team that runs the ball not exclusively but very close to exclusively um the quarterback um, they don't have matt scott anymore they have a running quarterback now and this is a guy who's thrown for just over 300 yards so far this season 100 yards a game um you know there are quarterbacks out there who throw for 300 yards a game regularly so they're a running team and they run the ball extremely well so far this season they've run the ball at will uh, they have multiple good running backs who have churned up a lot of yards this year. And their quarterback, I think his name is Denker. I could be wrong on that one. I think it's something like that. Dank, Denker. Um, he's a running quarterback. And so far this year, he's been very productive doing that. And Arizona's blown out their first three opponents. They've scored a lot of points in their first three games. This is a productive offensive team. They just don't no longer do it through the air. They do it on the ground, and they pass when they have to. So I look at that, and I go, that changes things a little bit for me now. Now that I've seen what Arizona is, I'm going to go into to tomorrow expecting a victory. Of course, it's at home. Arizona, they are a good team, but they're not a Pac-12 powerhouse. They're certainly no Oregon. They're certainly no Stanford. <clears throat> and with the way things have shaken out, if we're as good as we think we are after the first three games, we should beat them. Um, and we should be, and based on what we've seen so far this season, I think the expectation is we are better than them. We're heavily favored going into this game. And if you look at the offensive attack they use, it's primarily a rushing attack. Like I said, that's the kind of offense that I would expect this team to be able to hold up against. You know, maybe you don't shut them down. Of course, they're going to get the best of you a few times, but you should stop them enough to limit their offense and give your offense the opportunity to go out and win the game for you. Um, you know, obviously last year I was thinking about how they could spread the ball out and throw it around everywhere like they did so many times last season, and I thought that's the kind of offense I just don't know if we're going to be able to shut down. Well, um, the running attack, a primarily running-based attack, I think we should be able to at least handle that. And on defense, you know, Arizona, I don't know that their defense is great this year. I'm not saying it's terrible, but our offense, the way we played so far this year against, admittedly, maybe some not great teams, 
should be able to handle that challenge, should be able to run up some points on Arizona. And at the end of the day, I expect to uh, come out of this one with a W. So things have changed a little bit since the preseason, quite obviously. And I expect us to go out there and take care of business. Um, offense put up 24 points at least, probably closer to 30. And as good as the Arizona offense has been so far this year, this should be the kind of offense that we can at least contain. None of this, you know, letting them run for 500 yards on you like Texas did against, oh, BYU. Um, you know, nothing like that. The, they're going to get their couple hundred rushing yards in all likelihood, but you do what you need to do to take them to get their offense off the field a few times and you win this game. So that's what I expect tomorrow. It's not going to be an easy game, but I expect to win. So um, I'll probably make a post-game video on Monday. So see you guys then.